Welcome back, YouTubers, to Poor Boy Vapes. This is episode two, and today we would like to start off by introducing ourselves. My name is Seth. And I'm AJ. And today we're going to be looking at the Foo Hatton clone. Very nice mod here. I like the weight to it. It has a nice, hefty weight to it. Uh, even without the battery, it's still pretty stout. I definitely like that. I'm a fan of your heavier mods. It's um, definitely more for your mid-class vapors than your beginner vapors. And the reason why I say that is it has limited ventilation to it and I will show you where the vents are it's uh, definitely something you gotta definitely know how to do your coil builds on know your battery law know your ohm law as long as you know all that you'll be safe with it I don't discourage from buying it for that factor um, just be safe people be safe I would like to start by tearing it down and showing you all the firing button on it you can adjust it, it has an adjustable firing button so let me take this apart real quick and I will show you all that Another thing it does have is on your top portion of your mod, it has an adjustable firing pin in the top. Um, you have a longer firing pin and you have a shorter firing pin that goes on the top. So keep that in mind if you've got a uh, Addy on it and say it doesn't fire, put your longer pin in, you'll be just fine. Easy to adjust. Very easy. Very simple mod to work with. Now to adjust your throw on your firing pin, just simply unscrew the screw in the middle and you can adjust it out for a longer throw or you can screw it back down for a shorter throw. Personally me, I enjoy a shorter throw. So you just take the adjustment screw out, pull the two pieces apart and on top of the firing button you'll notice a snap ring. It's what holds the magnet in the top part so I like that. Very nice feature. And Bam! Nice thick magnet people. Very nice thick magnet. I like that compared to other ones I've seen where it's just a single little thin magnet. Uh, sometimes they do it to where they stack them. You've got two magnets in there. I don't really care for that. I like one thick thick magnet. Now the fire pin itself that houses the magnet you will notice it is very plain. I love that. I notice on some of these clones you'll notice when you're looking them up that on the bottom of the fire button It'll have the middle finger, American Vape, or American Clone 101. I don't care for that. I think it's scratched easy and just looks like crap. It does. It really does. So I'm going to throw this back together real quick for y'all. And while he's doing that, this mod does run a standard 18650 battery. We're running the E-Fest 18650 2500 milliamp 35 amp battery. It's a good battery to go to for any of your mods flat top it can run with a button top but with some finagling I would run the standard flat top which it's made for and this entire housing as well as the firing pin is all solid copper which is obviously an excellent source for your conductivity for your batteries and whatnot and also remember every now and then to tear your clones or your mods or whatever down if you can clean them out real good keep them operating right especially with these magnetic firing buttons like this if you work around welding, grinding, you get metal shavings in there. Um, I've had it where it will cause problems with the actual firing of the mod. I don't know if you have, mm -hmm. but I've okay. had an excessive build up from grinding all day and it just, it, it can be a problem. So just remember to tear them down, clean them good. And also with this battery and that, um, not battery, with the magnet in this firing pin, it does have a positive and negative side and if you put it in backwards, you're just going to fire constantly. So you have to make sure that your batteries or your uh, your magnets are opposite. Most definitely. And then now, uh, how it's talking about how it has very poor ventilation is if you notice, I don't think you're going to be able to see it, but on the top of your your button itself, there's the vent holes. There's two, four, six vent holes, but they're real tiny. And plus, right at the button, so it, it's not really going to escape that fast. It's so, usually going to vent through. Talk. Yeah, usually they vent through the top, so I will say that was kind of a poor engineering factor on this. So, but like I said before, I don't discourage anybody from buying it. I'll just say, it, just know your safety. That's all there is to it. That's pretty much it. For pretty that. much blunt. Yeah. So I'll uh, I'll take a hit off of it and show you how well it hits. I'm running a two ohm coil for a dark horse clone, which produces pretty good vape. Very well. Very well. 
The voltage drop on here is very nice. There's not hardly any voltage drop to it. So that's, that's a good thing. That's a good thing about the copper in it. Um, well, another thing I'm going to go ahead and hit on real quick is price point. Yay! Yeah. Moment we've all been waiting for. We'll start high. Most of your vape shops, I know the ones down here that I've been to have these in them, and they run about $50. Pretty steep. A little too much for this. So. Yes, it's too much for this. It should never be that high. You can also go online, different vape shops or different vape sites, anything like that. You'll notice they range here between $30 to $35. So, getting better, getting a lot better. Now, on eBay, you can find these anywhere between $17 to $23. More our price range. More of our price range. So keep that in mind when you're shopping around. Uh, just do your research. Go ahead and do like we do. We check a lot. You go ahead and you check a lot. You know, eBay, Amazon, whatever you prefer. I actually have noticed on Amazon they are more expensive. I have noticed that. They range about $30 on Amazon. So just keep that in mind. Um, another thing we're going to go ahead and discuss today is some of our future videos we have stored for you and another thing I want to go ahead and point out is our backdrop we have it is awesome this is actually a hood and our plan with the hood is to fill it with stickers mainly vape related um, your juices, juices addies, addies, mods anything vape related anything vape related one thing we will say is if you send us provocative vape things or anything like that we will not put them on the hood so keep that in mind. Uh, if that's something y'all will be interested in, let me know. I'll get the P.O. box open and get it going. And, hey, we'll get this thing filled up. That's the goal. That's the goal, people. Now, for our future videos that we're going to be doing, we're pretty excited about. Uh, we had an opportunity thrown our way, and we just cannot pass it up. Especially just starting out, making videos, and doing reviews, and vlogs, and all that. Is We have got a juice line we will be reviewing. The first to review the it. Very first. Very first to review this. It is done by a guy here locally where we live. Um, I've known him for a little while now. So we're very excited about that. Very excited. Very cool. Yes. And another video we have planned, which is going to be a little further on down the road, is going to be at a vape shop itself. We'll be doing a review on the vape shop. So we're looking forward to that. We'll be getting a manager. He'll talk a little bit about it as well. So it'll be a nice, different atmosphere. Yeah. Nice little change up. Really exciting. So, y'all stick in there with us and we'll make this happen. Yeah. And don't forget to visit our Facebook, uh, our Instagram, and our website, most of which are under construction. But they're getting there. Um, Facebook is up and running pretty good. Uh, the Instagram and website, they're, we're getting there it's under construction, but we're trying. Yes. It's a lot of work, people. We're full-time workers ourselves. Um, family men and all that. Family so. men, side work. It's just, it's, it's a lot of work. Kind of we are going to make it happen. Squeezing this in on our schedule, so. Yes. And we're doing it for you guys. Poor boy community. So, very excited. And as well, I will be putting links in the description below for y'all to check out. Um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. If there's anything you have for us, any questions or anything you want us to review, let us know as long as it's within our budget. We will not be doing anything new. Not until, you know, about seven, eight months down the road. <laughs> yeah. Twelve different new things have come out for that exact product. Yeah. Anything you want us to take a look at, just give us a, give us a comment or anything and we'll, we'll do our best to take a look at it. Yes, we will. And or anything you want to see, you know, yes. coil builds, you know, anything, reviews, stuff like Yes, yes. We're more than willing to do anything. And like I said before, if you have any fan mail you would like to send us, let us know. I'll get like I said, I'll get the P.O. box going. We'll have that cooking. So with that being said, that's gonna end episode two. And as always remember, don't waste your time. Ape on a dime.